I've been playing around with remove.bg on Canva and using the erase tool to give myself an amazing body because it seems like I can't do it by myself and I'm calling it a Canva shop. The idea came about when I wanted uh, to show one of my students how they should present their thumbnails when they are doing their thumbnails and I took one of the thumbnails on Canva and I added her photo just to make the point come across to her. And then that gave me an idea to place myself around the world. So I've been to France and I've added myself to France and this guy was taking a picture of me. So it, it has been quite fun. I've been playing around with this tool. I just want to show you how you do this. And then you have fun, especially if you're going to be using for thumbnails and things like that. When you don't have time to take pictures, you can easily manipulate the thumbnail and add yourself or add your photo on a thumbnail or wherever you need to to add yourself. Let's jump in and do this. What I've done, I've opened up a presentation canvas because it's nice and big. And then I went on Canva and I looked for a picture that I could add my face on there and manipulate it. I found this nice, beautiful young lady and I added her to the canvas. As the picture is highlighted and selected, I clicked on edit image and I selected BG Remover or Background Remover. You do need to have Canva Pro for this one, so you can go ahead and trial it for 30 days with the description below. What Canva then does, they take away the background, but they open up the brush tool that we are after. Then you're going to select the brush tool. Then you can put in or size it the way that you want the size of the brush to be. And then you zoom in so that you can see what you're doing. And then you start brushing off the rest of the face and the hair for this gorgeous lady that we are canva shopping. Then you just brush it off nicely like that until it's all gone. I'm gonna take away all of the hair and the face and leave just the neck so I can slot my neck in there. Once you're done, you click on done and then her face is gone and we can zoom out and just crop her a little bit and move her out of the way and then go find a picture of myself. Once you've added the picture that you want to replace with, so you're also going to zoom in on that one and then you're going to remove the background. Again, we're going to use our erase tool and we're going to just take away the body that we don't want. All of the sections that you don't want. For me, I just want my face to be the only thing that's left. And I'm going to make my face a little bit slimmer. Why the hell not? Once you're done, you click on done and then you apply and then you zoom back out and you crop yourself. Next, you're going to move your young lady and you size her nicely and then you move the face that you want to block in there and you nicely size it above the young lady. And you have just lost 100k zanele. The only thing that doesn't look naturally is the color. There's like an orangey color and I'm a little bit palish. You click on the image and then you go to adjust. And on your adjust, you can then use your contrast and your saturation so that the color of the neck looks like the face that you've just adjusted. So you then click on saturate it and then the color goes to be very similar to the neck. And now I look like that. Oh, look at me. Oh, oh, oh. I've lost weight. I've lost weight. Yay. And that's how you Canva shop yourself into a situation. Same scenario with this Paris photo. I just took a nice Paris picture and then I didn't even adjust the big picture. All I did was to remove background for myself and I plonked myself in front of this guy that was taking a picture and it looks like he's taking a picture of me 
we are in Paris together and that is how you use your canvas shop. I thought this was exciting. I wanted to share with you. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are and tell me if you're going to travel this. I can't wait to hear your comments. Thank you for joining me on this one. You could visit learnwithzart.com and you could buy yourself a Canva course. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video.